And so at this time, nobody really knew what it was yet. And I, I couldn't even go to school without causing a total riot. I'd spend most of the day incredibly noisily making sure my chair was exactly in the middle of the room from every angle and perspective possible. What? It's okay that I used your toothbrush, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Thanks. And then when I got the chair there, it wouldn't count unless I tapped this amazing drum roll in the back of the girl in front of me's head, which of course would make her constantly freak out and complain. <laughs> All the kids I went to grammar school with had these fucked up nicknames for me. They'd call me like Mental Marcy and Spazzy and Twitchy. So finally, my dad took me to this doctor in Syracuse who said I was a biopsychosociopath and I had Tourette syndrome. It sounds awful. It sounds like a real drag. It's not really. I mean, now it's just kind of part of who I am. I'm used to it. All the touching and the shouting and all that stuff. It scares the shit out of people. Because everybody who has Tourette does different things. I have, uh, like, the, I have these muscle tics, like, tensing up and my head goes back. And uh, I also have this thing called uh, echolalia, which is when you have to repeat the same word over and over until you feel like in your throat that... Actually, it's like I have this itch inside of me, and if I don't tick or say the word exactly the way I need to say it, I just feel like I'm gonna fucking explode. Really? Yeah, I, it's not like I want to do this stuff. I, I have to. So most of the time I just drink a lot because I think that's what helps the most. Well, doesn't anything else help? Sex helps. For some reason, sex helps. <laughs> 